What's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV and this is a Tesla Cybertruck event recap and how it relates to attacks on chickens. First off, I want to thank Tesla for the invite to the Cybertruck event. It looked like originally that I was not going to be able to make it because I didn't receive an invite, but through the generosity of some friends, I did end up receiving the invite and I'm really glad that I did because I had a chance to interact and talk with some of my close friends who are Tesla owners, Tesla supporters, and Tesla content creators. Now I want to take a moment and recap some of my first impressions of what I thought about the Cybertruck as it came on stage, and I've gotta be honest with you, I thought this was a live punked episode where, where Elon was showing off this fake version of a Tesla pickup truck, and at any point, he was gonna stop and say, LOL guys, I gotcha, here's the real truck, and drive that one up, but that never came to be, and so we're left with this odd futuristic truck with out of this world performance specs, and it trumps any traditional internal combustion engine truck by a wide margin. In this video, I wanna talk about the significance of Tesla Cybertruck and how it relates to a tax on chicken in the 1960s. Yes, chicken. Back in the 1960s, German farmers were concerned that their local chicken industry was being eroded by American chicken exporters who were importing their frozen chickens for less than what the local industry could sell it for. The American chicken was significantly undercutting the local German chicken market, so the industry asked the German government to fight back. So the government imposed a 50% tax on imported chicken. In retaliation, the US under Lyndon B. Johnson as president imposed, among other things, a 25% tax on foreign light duty pickup trucks being imported to the US. The US had the German VW bus in mind. This tariff was dubbed the chicken tax. This 1964 tax still ironically exists today in 2019, which is one of the reasons why American trucks dominate the segment. 80% of the top 10 best-selling trucks, according to JD Power, are American. It's also helpful to mention that trucks have some of the best profit margins for American car makers because of this chicken tax. To put it in another way, the truck segment has gone uninterrupted for more than 55 years. This is why Tesla Cybertruck is so important. They're entering a market that has gone nearly unchanged for more than half a century. This is a literal gold mine for Tesla as one and a half million trucks are sold each year. All they have to do is create a truck that is at price parity or better with their competition, has a cost of ownership that is less than their gas variants, and performance that makes any other truck look like a child's toy. Though I am not a truck person and the design is quite different from what I and many others are used to with a pickup truck looking like, this has created an insane amount of buzz since the launch this past Thursday. In fact, even though it looks so peculiar and different, this truck has generated more than 260,000 orders according to Elon Musk's tweet on Saturday, only two days after the event launch. The question is, will it be like Google Glass where it fades away as a flash in the pan, or like Apple's AirPods that become a cultural phenomenon. Here's how an April 2019 Market Update article once described the AirPods. Continuous and repetitive exposure will eventually make them seem as normal as apple pie. The more people that use them, the less odd they seem. And much like the AirPods, I suspect the Cybertruck will find its home in pop culture. I've been so torn on this vehicle since I saw it on Thursday night. I really, really want to like this Cybertruck, but there's something in me that has a hard time embracing something that's 
so different from what we are all used to seeing on the roads today with a pickup truck. It's bold, it's brash, it's angular, it's Tesla's new version of a pickup truck. The good news is that the general population doesn't need me to sign off and approve of this vehicle. And it seems like anecdotally that there's a lot of people who've never owned a pickup truck or never thought they would own a pickup truck putting down their $100 order for the Cybertruck, Tesla's iteration of a pickup truck. And that to me is really, really interesting. Even though it's incredibly different, I suspect and anticipate that over the period of three and five and 10 years that we will all look back and think that this was a moment where pickup truck design took a turn for a new era. Sean Mitchell, All Things EV, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch everyone on the next video.